Hey, am I on now? Holy crap, I got it to work. I think it's working. Am I on? I don't know. All right, so uh, I was just leaving the rain, so I guess I'll do the Ask EJ questions, the show number 13. Uh, this is my first time doing it by myself. The sun's all up in my junk. Whatever. I'm trying to do it right. Let's go with that. That'll work. Something like that. Hell, nobody's even watching this thing anyway. It don't matter. All right, uh, first question is from Bob from Fargo, North Dakota. He had to pardon me. My dirty hippie sent me an email this morning because I'm out here in the rain saying answer these three questions. So I had to write them down on paper because I can't view them on my phone in email and video at the same time. Or maybe you can. I don't know how to do that. So Bob in Fargo, North Dakota says, what are your thoughts on carrying a full-size Beretta 92 FS. Uh, okay. I carried one in the Army. For me, it's like holding a Coke can in your hand. But uh, if you're proficient on it, and uh, you know you can shoot it accurately, you know, then rock on. I think I've kind of said that a couple of times. Like, I'm not one to sit here and second guess what gun you carry for personal protection, because that's a personal decision. But... Uh, I mean, it's, it's not what I carry, but, I mean, what does that matter, really, right? So, as long as you're proficient in it and you know, you know, how it operates and you can conceal that big old thing, then uh, then rock on. Or maybe you don't have to conceal it. All right. Like, sorry, Bob. I'm, you know, it's not one of my deepest answers before, but you know, I've kind of covered that. All right. Number two, Zach from Clearwater, Florida. What's up, Florida? Uh, what should I say to my brother who sees training as a waste of money and has no interest in practicing and is simply not proficient with a firearm but wants to carry? I would say your brother's like the majority of concealed carriers out there. They don't see any. Like they've, like if their state makes them do a, uh, a concealed handgun permit class, uh, and they walk away shooting their, you know, 50 or 100 rounds, whatever they have to shoot, and and they get all happy inside. But, I mean, that's not real training. It's just a uh, state requirement, and you learn about the law mainly. You're not, you're not learning how to shoot. They're not giving you, like, true training on that stuff. So it's the bare minimum. But apparently he's got a warm and fuzzy inside, and he feels all great, you know. Uh... And you can't convince him of that. I mean, you're a, up until like this, that little handgun permit class is, is uh, the equivalent of a belly button. You know, it serves no real purpose, but it makes you feel all good inside. Uh, you know, dude, I, I really don't know. And you could, you could invite him out to, you know, some type of, you know, a little training event or go with him and uh, just see what he does there. But, you know, you can't convince those that don't want to be convinced. You know, that's just the short truth of it. So, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's 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 going to be nothing like that concealed permit class if he has to skin it out and do God's work with it. Uh, you know, moving and shooting, checking angles, knowing what's in front of you and what's behind you. Uh, identifying areas that you can move, you know, that's that's not done on a static range. You know, it needs to go to a, some classes where you can get out and move and and shoot, and uh, and that right there will be convincing enough. I'd uh, I'd almost wonder if he doesn't want to do it because he is afraid he's going to be embarrassed, you know, about his performance. So I think you'd have to look a little deeper at why he doesn't want to train. And uh, I think it's, I think it's not as superficial as he's making it out to be. I think it's a lot deeper than that. And and then I think you'd find uh, your answer of why he doesn't want to train will help shape how you you know try to encourage him to train. So uh, that's kind of my take on it. All right, here's question number three. Caesar from Las Vegas. Uh, when cleaning your firearms, what do you use? Oil or grease? Okay. Uh, Let's see, Caesar, in a bolt gun, bolt, uh, you know, I use grease. 
uh, on the action and uh, you know the barrel gets swabbed with oil on AKs I use grease and then on ARs and pistols I use oil and there's all different types of magical unicorn tears out there for oil but for the most part um, short of burn off rates uh, and the viscosity debate which is about as retentive as the ballistic debate out there uh, you know oil's oil I try to stay away from you know some of the cheaper stuff just because like uh, it's cheap but you know I think you'd be fine uh, with with oil as oil you know like you've got the rim oil stuff out there and uh, and it's all right I mean it burns off pretty quick so you got to keep applying it I like the uh, SLP 2000 I think that works pretty well frog lube in the summertime I don't use frog lube in the winter though uh, frog lube in the summertime and then uh, you know the Crisco oil the the was that fire clean or whatever it is <laughs> you know until uh, that's gone because that was expensive but uh, you know for the most part I mean you could you could take you know synthetic mobile one 5w30 <laughs> you know if you had to so uh, you know. I use grease on the on the bolt guns and the AKs just because it's a lot of metal on metal uh, and you know, I like to keep my bolt rifles as close to peak performance uh, and, and high condition as I can and then for the AK it's just a beast so you know the cheap stuff actually works pretty well uh, you could use wheel bearing grease if you needed to in a pinch but yeah I like grease on the AK and then you know, oil for uh, for the AR and the pistols uh, I use, like I said, in the summertime, though, I'll use uh, frog lube. Uh, so it works pretty well. I don't like it too much in the wintertime. Uh, it tends to gum up, especially if the gun sits in the safe for a while. But in the summertime, it works pretty good. All right, so there you go. That was three questions. Bob, your question number one, I mean, carry it that's fine uh, you know you're holding the Beretta 92 FS thing uh, you know that's fine man I, again I'm not one to tell you not to carry a gun uh, I say exactly what I actually just repeat what Colonel Cooper says first thing is uh, you know do you have a gun the second one is accurate hits on target and the third we'll debate about is the gun again you can always go up in betterness, not even a word, I just made that up, betterness of a gun, profile, uh, you know, mechanics of it are more ergonomic to your body, whatever, whatever, How, the method of your, your carry inside the waistband, outside the waistband, what position you carry it, you know, in line with the, the seam of your jeans, or you wear it at four o'clock position, do you wear it appendix? Do you Magnum PI it? Do you John McClane it in a sh shoulder holster? So it all just depends on you, your body type. But I'm not a fan of the trigger and the cocaine grip. But that's because God only gave me these type of hands. That's it. That's all I got. These. Well, let me show you the other one. These. <laughs> uh, and Zach, man, dude, I'll tell you, just you can't. You can't uh, make that horse drink. You can only lead it to water. All right, guys. Well, send me some more good questions, and uh, we'll see where I can get those things answered for you. And uh, my dirty hippie says we've already got, like, a couple of good ones waiting on me for tomorrow. So hopefully there'll be some good ones. Uh, not bad today. As always, send me questions. I need them. I need your questions. You could tell I'm tired of coming off the coming off the range. Uh, it's been a long day. It's hot here in Memphis. It's hot. Uh, don't forget to check out the Sheepdog Society. Posted some new stuff on Snapchat uh, and all the other Instagram, Twitter, Gram things. All right. As always, stay alert.
I haven't practiced often. Hold up, the camera's over here. Where am I looking at? Right there. But then I can't see myself looking at you. Oh, heck. Whatever. All right, guys. Bye. There's this button. Oh. Did I turn it off? I don't know if I turned it off. How do I turn this thing off? Holy crap, there's all these comments I could be reading. Huh. Am I on still? I don't know.